there, YouTube. Uh, today, I'd like to teach you how to open a big CSV file. As you may already know, that bigger CSV files are not super accessible in most desktop programs. In fact, there's a 1 million row hard limit for Excel spreadsheets. If you know how to code and program, you might use Python or SAS uh, to process these CSV files, but then again, it would consume a lot of computational resources from your computer um, and maybe crush your computer even. So um, let's see how you can use a cloud-based uh, database software like uh, Echo Studio to uh, get the same stuff done. So first thing you want to do is to import a resource. So here is already on single CSV file. So let's just pick uh, a file here as an example. And this, this one is 122 megabytes. So it's not very small. It's around 1 million rows. So let's just open it and see what happens. So then you will see a preview parser. So you can either just upload the file as this, or you can uncheck the auto detector here to kind of configure your columns uh, manually. So if you don't have a, uh, a row for the columns, you want that because uh, this is a, a database management system uh, that's column based. So you will need a column for that. If you already have a column like this, you can uh, change the name or even change the schema. Um, if you don't know what to do, just leave uh, the auto detect uh, on. And then just click upload. If somehow your uh, upload doesn't work, uh, that it fails, you can always just come back to the safe mode. So what the safe mode does is that it will handle most of the situations for a corrupted CSV file and maximize your chances of uploading that file. So once you feel like everything looks all right, you can just click upload. And it will just does the process will start in the in the background. I already have this file uploaded uh, to a project called demo, so uh, you can just see the table right here right now. As you can see, it's a, exactly one million rows. Let's do a quick filter here. As you can see, it's pretty, pretty fast, um, thanks for the computers in, on the cloud. Um, and the next thing you want to do is probably process this table further. There are many SQL-based uh, actions here for you to either like cut the table, join this table with another table like this one, 5 million sales record. So together, we'll have like 6 million records, right? And you can uh, build a pivot table just like you would on Excel and you can even cleanse it. So here you can also click the little cloud button so we can kind of download this file to your local computer. Oh, oh one more thing you can do, you can actually share this uh, to a teammate or a friend of yours uh, so that uh, he or she will have the same access to this project. So with this CSV file being uh, on the cloud, uh, being on the cloud, you can process essentially CSV files of any size. I've tried a table that's over 20 million rows, uh, like a 200 gigabytes, so it would work. Uh, it just takes a little bit longer. And also, uh, you, can part, you can use the soft, software to parse some of the CSV files that are not easy to uh, open. Uh, maybe they have like mismatched values, they have missing values. Um, yeah, try them out on Micro Studio. And also, um, you can use the built-in SQL actions here to process your table really in this kind of a graphical interface. And lastly, of course, you have the collaboration uh, action uh, option to kind of uh, send this table and share the table with anyone you want. And that's it for today's uh, tutorial uh, for how to open a big SAS visa. Uh, click subscribe button, please, and we'll produce more meaningful content for uh, database management.